Um, I was thinking about what to preach this week because uh, with Synod, I knew that my prep time would be cut very short. Um, So I had to dig back into something. Uh, This is something I did. Uh, We looked at the book of Romans. It was one of the first things we did. Uh, We looked at it in Sunday school. So uh, if this sounds familiar, it's because it is familiar. But um, it's always a good reminder uh, to be reminded of such things as what we see here in this passage. So Romans 8, verses 31 to 39. uh, Let us ask for the Lord's blessing upon our time before we hear his word read. Heavenly Father, as we come before you this morning to hear your word read and proclaimed, we know that it is your word, O Lord, that is inspired. It is not me, the messenger. It's not even this sermon. It is the word which is inspired, but it is the spirit who will take this word and will implant it in our hearts. It is the word that it is the spirit, Lord, who who will empower me to proclaim this word. It is the spirit who will take the words I say and implant them in your hearts as well. So, Lord, we pray for the spirit to be upon us this morning, to give us ears to hear, to have our hearts open to receive this message of hope, hope in the everlasting love of God for his people. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. Romans chapter chapter 8, verses 31 to 39, please give your attention as God's holy, inspired, and errant word is read in your hearing. What then shall we say to these? 